okay so compressors compressor are very vital part of the aeroplane engine compressor are the one which takes the air from the front of the engine increases the pressure and then puts it into the combustion chamber okay so that is the role of the compressor so understand there are two types of the compressor centrifugal flow compressor and axial flow compressor in a centrifugal compressor as you can see over here this is the design of a centrifugal flow compressor the central part is called as the impeller or we also call it as an i dgca question okay i dono pucha jata beta impeller bhi bol sakte ho i bhi bol sakte ho so what will happen is the air is coming from the front itna hi area jo aapko dikh raha hai na beta only that much amount of the area just give me a minute yeah only this much amount of the area will be open to the inlet as you can see in this picture okay only this much amount of the area is open to the inlet so the air is coming over here okay and see in this picture also you can clearly see what is happening the air comes only into the impeller we call it as an i also okay impeller mein bhi dekho ye jo part hai this part is called as a inducer or you can call it simply as an i so air comes over here shape aisa hai na beta dekho isko ki ye gol 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 ghum raha hai right as i told you that compressor is connected to the turbine and when the turbine is rotating compressor is also rotating so compressor is rotating so because of this shape of the blade air which is coming over here if you feel look at the shape properly the shape is divergent okay so we just did it in the previous class whenever the air goes into the divergent shape because of bernoulli's theorem what happens is as the air enters the divergent shape pressure increases velocity decreases so here the pressure will shoot up velocity will decrease so this between this two foils dekho between this two divergent shape hai yahan pe area kam hai yahan par area zyada so the high pressure is made then this high pressure which is this is the rotating part from the rotating part the high pressure air enters into the diffuser can you see this is the area called as the diffuser see zyada kuch nahi hai it's just a divergent shape okay divergent shape so in the diffuser again the pressure increases and at the outlet of the diffuser this is the outlet of the diffuser it is collected and it goes it outside this is the outlet okay yahan pe dikh raha hai discharge right okay so air is coming here it is rotating at a high speed compress ho gaya beta high pressure air goes into the diffuser see you can see the area no this become divergent so it goes into this and from here it is taken out okay same thing is shown over here the air is going inside the inducer okay impeller is rotating as the impeller is rotating see the shape divergent hai increases the pressure then it goes into the diff uh, diffuser and from the diffuser it comes out so that is how your centrifugal compressor operates in a centrifugal compressor you should know there is an inlet inlet goes into the impeller impeller is rotating because of which and it has got a divergent shape so because of the divergent shape the pressure will increase and the air will go out look at this picture how it is installed on the aero the air is coming from the front okay so whatever air is coming from the front the air will enter this part area right sorry the air will enter the inducer same thing again so in the inducer what will happen is it will increase the pressure okay and then the high pressure area goes into the combustion chain understood here so that is how the centrifugal compressor actually works okay so ek inlet hoga beta inlet se air andar aayega fir pressure ko increase karega by rotating it and having a divergent shape and then it will be formed okay now we should understand what are the advantages of using the centrifugal compressor the first and foremost advantage is it is light in weight light in weight ka matlab kya hai beta iska weight bahut hi kam hai Okay, the weight of this engine is very very less. Okay, light weight. That is the first advantage. You can understand why it is an advantage, right? Because in this uh, civil aviation, we already know that जो भी चीज़ light होगा, वो क्या है बेटा better है. This is tough design. We call it as a rugged design. Okay, rugged design का मतलब क्या हो जाता है? Less FOD. Foreign object damage होता है ना एरोप्लेन के अंदर वो इसमें बहुत ही कम होगा सपोज इफ स्टोन फ्लाइज इन टू दिस कंप्रेसर दिस कंप्रेसर विल नॉट बी डैमेज इफ इट्स अ वेरी टाइनी अमाउंट ऑफ द स्टोन छोटा स्टोन है तो ये इसको डैमेज नहीं कर सकता बेटा ओके सो दिस टाइप ऑफ एन इंजन आर रेजिस्टेंट 
or less susceptible to the foreign object damage okay i am saying less susceptible aisa nahi ki hoga hi nahi ab bada stone aa gaya to ye tod dega wo to har kisi engine mein todta hai okay so it is tough in design rug design making it less susceptible to the foreign object damage okay it is simple in construction very simple no you can see kuch nahi hai beta ek impeller banaya hai jisko piche shaft de diya shaft ko turbine ke sath connect kar diya see here shaft de diya turbine ke sath turbine gol guma isne isko gol guma hai work done so it is very simple in construction okay and it has got a high compression ratio per stage high compression ratio per stage this per stage word is very important what do you mean by per stage single stage compressor kya hota hai beta jiske andar there is one inducer one impeller such type of the compressor is called as the single stage compressor okay what will happen is in this single stage compressor it gives me the compression ratio of 6 or 7 is to 1 which means what beta that inlet pressure is 1 Outlet pressure can be six times or seven times. That means if I put fourteen point seven psi pressure, outlet pressure will be fourteen point seven multiplied by six or fourteen point seven multiplied by seven, depending upon the outside air pressure. Understood high compression ratio per stage. So every stage you get a pressure of six or seven is to one. So what we'll do, if I want an aeroplane to flow uh, to fly at a higher speed, what I will do is instead of having just one compressor, I can have two compressors. Okay, two stage compressor. So what will happen is the air which is coming into the inducer, the pressure increase करेगा बेटा. इसके outlet को पकड़ के क्या करो? घुमा के वापस इसके inlet में डालो. Okay? As you can see over here, the air is coming into the inlet of the compressor. Pressure आ गया. फिर इसको उठा के second वाले compressor के inlet में डालो. So what will happen is the first stage. Let us take a simple example. Let us say that the inlet pressure was just one psi. Okay? Here I will get the outlet of six psi. 6 psi goes over here 36 psi understood how the pressure is increased by multiples okay now you will say that sir i can install the third stage also jo ki dega 36 into 6 216 psi okay again multiply by 6 so pressure will keep on increasing i will have a engine which is very much efficient but beta the design also has got its own limit you cannot have more than two stages third stage lagaoge to wo inefficient ho jata because already high pressure air yahan par aa raha hai उसको आप गोल घुमा के और हाई प्रेशर करने की कोशिश करोगे तो वो नहीं हो पाता ओके सो दैट बिकम्स द डिसएडवांटेज फॉर अस सो वी कैन नॉट हैव मोर देन टू स्टेजेस ओके नाउ यू कैन इदर हैव टू स्टेजेस लाइन वन आफ्टर द अनदर और यू कैन हैव अ डबल एंट्री कंप्रेसर डबल एंट्री कंप्रेसर मींस व्हाट सी दिस इंड्यूसर ऑन दिस साइड इंड्यूसर ऑन दिस साइड दैट मींस द एयर व्हिच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम हियर विल एंटर फ्रॉम हियर आल्सो एंड कैन एंटर फ्रॉम हियर आल्सो बट द आउटलेट इज सिंगल ओके, सो मतलब यहां पर भी हाई प्रेशर होगा यहां पर भी हाई प्रेशर होगा और इधर ये हाई प्रेशर एयर बाहर जाता है अंडरस्टूड दैट इज योर सेंट्रीफ्यूगल कंप्रेसर ओके एंड द लास्ट एडवांटेज व्हिच वी जनरली इग्नोर इज लो कॉस्ट ओके बिकॉज़ इट्स अ सिंपल इन डिजाइन द कॉस्ट ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ द कंप्रेसर इज वेरी वेरी लेस सो दैट कंप्लीट्स योर सेंट्रीफ्यूगल कंप्रेसर So, how do we understand the centrifugal compressor and inducer on an air from which the air is coming inside? Then we have got a, a rotation which increases the pressure because of the divergent shape of the impeller. It goes into the diffuser which will further increase the pressure. Then we remove it out of the casing. Understood? You for increase of uh, per stage rise pressure is just six point seven is one, and all these advantages are the DGCA question. the point number 2 and the point number 4 i have been asked in all the paper you can practically say in all the paper ya to ye aayega ya to ye aayega okay one of the question is always there so these are the very important dgca question from dgca point of view that you should